Hey guys, you're probably wondering, is there something different about you, Natalia? Yes. Can you see that? Can you see the color there? But your hair doesn't look any different. Why is that? Let's rewind a little bit. Good morning, everyone. I woke up and decided that I'm bored with the way I look right now. So I'm going to spontaneously change my appearance today. I would love to dye my hair and I probably will eventually, but not right now because I'm scared. <laughs> today we're just going to focus on my hair and I will show you what I got to change up this face right here. Y'all guess what this is? It's pre-stretched braiding hair. We're braiding my hair today. Well, it's honestly probably going to take like two or three days, but we're starting today. I am going to braid my own hair because I do not want to pay almost $200 for braids again. Like I, I have a major respect for braiding artists. Yes, it's a fair price, okay? I just don't want to pay that price, so I'm going to do it myself. I suck at hair and doing it and braids, I suck at it, but this is going to be a great learning experience for me. I do also want to get my nails done. I'm not doing those myself, but my shaky ass hands. Oh, I should give you guys a desk update because something happened and I did something very stupid. I have to use this chair right now because I spray painted the other one and that was not a good idea. I thought it was, it was not. So now I have to use this janky ass chair. It's literally like a few springs poking out of it. Like it is right in the middle. So when I sit down, it stabs my ass. I did order a new chair, it's a very cheap one. It is black, so it'll match. It's coming on Tuesday, I think. Yeah. And I thought, I was trying to get an easy way out, trying to change my chair to match my vibe more, but not everything works out and that's okay. I am kind of in a hurry because I do wanna, I am going to my boyfriend's house today, but I am not in a too much of a hurry because he can wait. But I wanna at least get the blow drying done before I actually leave. I wanna try and do a transition. All right, we'll see how good that looks in post. The hair has been blow dried. She's very frizzy. This is how I would normally go to my braider, but since I'm doing it myself, I wanna make it as easy as possible. And I think having my hair flat and straight will really help with parting and keeping everything in the braid. I'm sweating. This is fucking hair. Okay, we're doing another transition. Are you ready? The hair is done. Looking a little dry, but now I have to get ready to head over to my boyfriend's house so we can hang out. I'm gonna do my parts there. So uh, tomorrow. Saturday, I can actually start braiding. Well, I'm just nervous because I'm not good at braiding just as is. And I'm covering my whole head in braids. I forgot to tell you guys that I took off my LED lights because originally I wanted to move them over there to my desk to surround my desk to give it a nice ambiance. And then tell me why I peeled off the LED lights and there was bugs all over the sticky the adhesive. I think I read something saying that bugs are attracted to LED lights because they're like in ultraviolet light and I guess that's the only light bugs can actually see. So naturally they just go to the light, but then they get stuck on the adhesive and they die. And there was a lot in that corner over there because the there was there was a gap in between the LED lights so like cuz it was trying to curve so there was a little gap in the corner and I peeled it up and there's a little family of bugs there dead of course but that doesn't mean it's not gross <laughs> Hi baby We're in a different location this is at my boyfriend's house now The only thing I'm doing today is parting because I'm way too lazy to do the actual braiding today. What baby? So I'm gonna do my best to do this parting evenly and not fuck it up. 
we'll see how well that goes. They first split it like from ear to ear and that's the the top part of your I so I didn't bring anything to hold my hair, whatever. I'm actually kind of glad I'm doing this at his house because he has a mirror that has the magnifying side on it. Oh, shit, I can't see a goddamn thing. I have my emotional support cat. He's down there. I also have my emotional support tacos. What are you doing in here? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> but I'm actually starting to part and stuff. I'm realizing how hard it's gonna be. I forgot to bring my tripod, so I, it's hard. I can't do that. I don't have anything to set it on. But I was just gonna put my tripod like here, and then zoom in, and I can clearly, very clearly see the part. But I forgot my other tripod. He's judging me so hard right now. <laughs> I need to focus up and actually try and part this correctly. So I'm gonna do it like get like halfway and I'll check back in with you guys later. putting the braids in today i'm kind of nervous because i don't know what i'm doing i do have tech i have techniques like i kind of know what to do but i've never actually done it so oh, so forgive me if i sound a little groggy i quite literally just woke up and i want to get as much done today as possible because tomorrow is father's day i'm going into some scalp relief by farm to table it has tea tree mint and coconut oil because my scalp, she feels raw like uh, like 90% of the time, so I need to cool her down a little bit. Especially since I'm going to be pulling and tugging on my hair. I don't want to ruin it even more. Um, I'm going to leave these some of like, the ends of the hair just as is, so when I boil it, it'll get like curly and stuff. I do want the, the braids to be pretty small, so I... I I kind of gave up near the top, like you can see that the, the parts are like literally everywhere. It's not really organized, but I decided I'm just going to go each individual braid at a time and just clean up the part from there. Yeah, my scalp definitely feels a little raw right here. I think this is where I scratched it in the shower, so yeah, she's, it hurts. My goal is to keep these in until the end of July because for August I want to dye my hair. Yeah. And I just want to keep these braids in so I can get some new growth and I don't have to fucking take it, take care of it so much because I, I hate taking care of my hair, bro. <laughs> like, this is pretty small and I, I'm fine with that size. Honestly, I was going to get a three-way mirror for this, but I decided not to because that's like, I don't need that. I think it would have been nice if I actually bought it, but that's okay. I'm going to do this. Oh, you fucked it up, man. Oh, there we go. Did I just break my... I think my claw club just broke. Are you serious? What the fuck? I'm having such a hard time keeping it at there because it just keeps sliding down. Like I can do the braid, I just can't I can't keep it in the damn room. Okay, so I braided it down pretty far, but first of all, I added another piece of hair. You can see hold on, you can see like where it starts because the thickness has changed. You can see it does not start at the root, it starts right here. And it's kind of pulling on my hair and I I don't really want that, but I might I just leave it because I'm too lazy to fix it. <laughs> okay, well, I think I did it. It is a little like uneven, but I don't care. This is also in the back of my head, so it's not my problem. I 
I really don't want to keep going. <laughs> I've, I've already, I've only done two braids and I'm like, yeah, I don't want to say more. I really don't. Tomorrow. So, I did what I thought it would do, and then it's not very vibrant. I think in the sun you'd be able to see it, but like, you can't see that it's in my hair. And I expected that because my hair is really dark. Um, but this whole process gave me the confidence to actually dye my hair red, so we're probably gonna do that in the future. Day three. And here we are. So I knew Save Per Minute wouldn't actually stick that well, and I spent $40 on two boxes. Shouldn't have done that, but. I wanted to just try it because I was so scared about actually going to a completely different color and that whole process gave me the confidence to actually go red. So I'm not going to go like a vibrant red, I kind of want like a black cherry type red that you can see the red in my hair, but you can't really, you can't really tell. But it's not like a super vibrant red or super noticeable red, like a vampy red. I do like vampy red, but I don't want I don't think as a whole color in my head that will look good. I really want this color. I love her hair and I really, really want this color. And I think I could just go to the store and get it right now. But I do have semi-permanent dye in my hair. And permanent dye won't stick to semi-permanent dye. I mean, it won't stick to my hair as well as semi-permanent dyes on it. So while I wait for everything to be shipped, I can just use a clarifying shampoo to get all the color specifically off of my scalp. But also off of my hair because even though you can't see it, it is in my hair. But yeah, I hope I hope you enjoyed this chaotic video. I am a very indecisive person and I think this video really highlighted that. But I am officially, I'm going to dye my hair red and I'm super excited, so stay tuned for that. I wasn't gonna make this a video, but I kind of wanted to to show like, you know, not everything works out. You're gonna do some shit and you're gonna mess it. It's not gonna turn out how you want it to, but that's okay. You can fix it another time. Anyways, I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!